So what is going on guys, it's Triple G here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be testing out the newly crowned best CPU in the world, the Ryzen 9 7800X3D against the toughest game in the world, Escape from Tarkov. So first up, let's talk about our PC and what we are going to put Tarkov up against. Clearly we have the new Ryzen 9 7800X3D with its groundbreaking new V-Cache to give you that extra gaming performance. Now if you didn't know anything about these CPUs yet, the 7000 series processors are a gaming powerhouse with high performance Zen 4 cores. It has 16 cores, 32 threads, boost clocks of up to 5.7 gigahertz and up to 144 of onboard chip memory. AMD also sent over their new flagship GPU, the 7900 XTX. Now this new GPU can get up to 54% improvement in performance per watt than of its other competitors. Now with a new chipset being on the AM5 platform, we have needed to upgrade our motherboard. For this build, we have used the new Asus Tough Gaming X670E, which means we now have access to DDR5 RAM as well as the PCIe 5.0 support in the future too. For the construction itself, this is one I left to the professionals over at Meta PCs. Not only do they construct the PCs to the highest of standards, but they also custom made this case cover, which looks absolutely incredible. Now that we know what the new PC looks like, let's briefly cover what my existing gaming rig looks like as of today. This is a gaming rig that I've used over the last 18 months without a single issue whatsoever. So the main components here that we're really interested in is the AMD's 5950X CPU and the 6900XT Radeon GPU with 64 gigabytes of RAM. Now, as I said earlier, I've used the 6900XT for over a year now, and the frame rate performance of the GPU has been excellent. Definitely one to look out for in the sales prices and promotions, as it's an excellent piece of hardware. So in order for us to make sure that we get the most frames possible, we need to make sure we take off the limits of FPS that Tarkov have within the game itself. To do that, what we're gonna do is turn on VSync on in the game, and then go into AMD software Adrenaline and make sure that we turn VSync off both here and here. Once we've done that, we will restart the game and that will make sure that we have no FPS limits in Escape from Tarkov for this test. Now, as for the test itself, it's going to be really simple. We're going to be running through all the maps on offline mode. Offline mode ensures that we don't have any server instability that might affect the test. And we're able to run through uninhibited so we can concentrate on the FPS itself. So the first map we're going to test is Streets of Tarkov. Now this was the latest map that came out and was notorious for really bad performance when it was launched both on the server side and FPS side. We were averaging about 60 FPS when the game first launched and got up to about 80 FPS once it was optimized. But as you can see here in the top right hand side of the screen, we are actually averaging 180 FPS. Now I actually had to double check this and restart the map a couple of times just to make sure that this reading was right because it is such an improvement on where we were previously. Now as you can see as we move through these spots we have some slight fluctuations in the FPS but we never drop below 150 frames. Even when we go indoors and there are a lot more to render on the floors as well as loot and everything else that can be inside these buildings, different types of lighting or whatever, we never ever miss a beat. This performance is absolutely incredible and I couldn't believe my eyes when I first saw it on streets. So the next map we're looking at is Lighthouse. Now Lighthouse is another map that a lot of players just simply couldn't play because of the performance issues of Tarkov on this map. But the 7800X3D does not disappoint again. AMD absolutely crushing out the park. We spawn in with 230 FPS which is just absolutely insane for Lighthouse. Went up onto the top of Pride Rock here and still got well above 200 frames, which is brilliant as well. And then further on, we visit the chalets here and we have even more FPS. It's just all around performance is brilliant here, especially on Lighthouse. As a Lighthouse main, this made me very, very happy. Following on from Lighthouse, we are going to Customs, the Timmy map. The map that we start out with at the beginning of every wipe. Now previously I was averaging about 120 frames on customs, moving up to 160 frames in some of the internal areas. As you can see here, we are well above 200 frames on the outside areas going across the bridges here. And then as we move into one of the hotspots for PVP into dorms, we are well above 150 frames here in these internal areas, which means that you're going to maintain excellent performance while pushing those high tier loot rooms within dorms. 
Next up, get your pistols out because we are going to Factory. Now, Factory is one of the smallest maps in Escape from Tarkov and doesn't usually have any performance issues. If you ask anybody that plays Tarkov, they will tell you they get the best frames in Factory. As expected, AMD's new CPU and GPU combined did not disappoint here either. We are well above 250 frames here and maintained that all the way through the lower areas and the upper deck in the offices. Just absolutely incredible performance here once again. Next up, we have no one's favorite map and that is Reserve. Now, Reserve is notoriously strenuous on the CPU and GPU because of the full underground level that's within the Reserve. So as you can see on the outside areas, we're getting over 200 FPS as we walk around here, making those shooter born in heavens a little bit more easier. And then when we go underneath, we're still getting well above 150 frames. This is huge for visual recognition of those guys that might be sitting in those dark areas could give you that slight edge when in those PvP fights. Next up is my personal favorite map, and that is Shoreline. Now, Shoreline here actually surprised me a little bit, whereas we had 180 frames in the outside areas. I was actually expecting that to be a little bit higher, but there must be something going on within Tarkov that is rendering something in the distance constantly, meaning that we have a little bit of a lower FPS here than we do on the other maps in the outside areas. But as we go into the resort, we can see we are well above 150 frames again in all of the floors and all of the areas. This will ensure that you have an advantage over players as you're pushing for those loot rooms and in particular room 301. Next up, we have Woods. Now, Woods is a beautiful scenic map that we all know and love and enjoy, especially all those guys that go around and sit in the bushes. But as you can see here, again, well above 150 frames beautiful beautiful graphics here not an issue with performance whatsoever as we go up onto sniper rock you'll see we actually reach 200 frames as we get up on top of here as well no issue with performance whatsoever on this map the final map on our rotation is labs now labs players rejoice you are going to get over 200 frames on this map sensational performance now as labs is an internal map you'll see that you're consistently getting these 200 frames throughout the whole map it doesn't matter what level you are where you're fighting the enemies what room you may have unlocked you're always going to get those 200 frames which is sensational performance all round so clearly the 7800 x3d is incredible for escape from tarkov when you pair it with the 7900 xtx you get insane FPS improvements on most of the maps. We saw 50 FPS improvements on most of them with an astonishing 100 FPS increase on Streets of Tarkov. Now that is a recently optimized map, so that may be why we saw much of an improvement here, but it's good news for you as gamers because they are going to improve all of the maps with the optimization of Unity 2021. So there are two higher versions of AMD's new CPU. You have the 7950 X3D and you have the 7900 X3D. Now both of these versions are slightly higher priced and both of these versions will give you slightly more frames. However, if you are talking about performance per dollar or per pound, wherever you are in the world, there is no better value and no better CPU out there than the current 7800 X3D. So if this video is interested in you and you decide, yes, I am going to pull the trigger and I want one of these new AMD GPUs or AMD CPUs, then I'm going to put a link in the description, which will take you over to the AMD site so you can purchase it. I'm also going to put a full build list from Meta PCs of how they constructed this PC so you can go out there and get any of these components you want via the link below. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join me over on Twitch. I stream six times a week and otherwise... I'll catch you on the flip.